Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another video. In today's video, as you can probably tell, as you will have seen in the title as well, it's very much themed for Easter. I have been in Home Bargains buying all of their Easter things to put together a nice hamper to show you guys. Everything in today's video is from Home Bargains and you might know from previous videos, Christmas videos, Valentine's and obviously Easter that I very much love to put together hampers. So I've done one for Easter and thought I would show you what is in it. It's all very inexpensive because obviously it's all from Home Bargains. Yeah, I'm very pleased with it. So we will jump straight into the video and I'll show you everything that is in here. So so starting out with this box which I just think is so lovely this was 4 dollars I did show this in my come shop with me well I did show most of this to be honest 4 dollars for this crate how gorgeous is this for keeping all your Easter things in every year I just love how it can bring everything together and I think the design on it is so lovely how it just says happy Easter in the wooden letters so yeah that was for $4.99 they also have loads of baskets in there so they are really good options I have said before that I have used plant pots to use as a hamper for the boys Easter things and then put some seeds in it as well for them to plant afterwards so I think that is a good option it's a good one for spring but yeah I think this is a gorgeous little crate and I love the writing on it we've also got a bunny I think Archie's gonna love this this was 2 dollars really soft they had a brown one as well they've also got peter rabbit yeah i think it's a really good price i might actually personalize it for him and put his name on it because i've got my cricket machine so i think he'll really love that if you can have his have his name on it as well i've done one for toby because toby's got bunny but i've yeah archie doesn't have many teddies so i think he's gonna love this and i think 2.99 is a really good price as well so that would be a really nice item to go in your gift box your hampers whatever but obviously this there's too much stuff in this so it won't fit in there so it's just we'll just pop him on the side okay so some of the things that are in here we have got i've not even tried this yet but dylan one of my boys has tried it and said it is very very nice i've had many mini eggs just not the chocolate bar but they've got these in home bargains they've got a good selection of mini eggs in there like tins of them and everything so i got a bar of that also some of the eggs as well just because it's easter you just you just have to have those things don't you um so they are in there as a few bits of chocolate there's no actual eggs in here i didn't buy any easter eggs i think that's what's quite nice about it because i'll probably get eggs off other people so it's quite nice to put a few different things in a in a gift hamper and a few activities and things that they can do and there's a lot of that in home bargains at the moment lots of craft things that i didn't get because i think my boys are just getting that bit older now where they're not going to be as interested in some of it but if you've got little ones and you want to make an easter bonnet or do these crafts you've got absolutely loads of great things for that i nearly bought as well they've got like a pin the bunny tail on the bunny little game that's 1.99 i might end up getting that because i think archie will probably really enjoy that you'll just get some pom-poms and some blindfolds to stick on the bunny so that's good if you're just going to do a few party games at easter they also have big foam cutouts in the shape of eggs and bunnies and last year i bought some of them and wrote um clues for them to go and find the eggs around the house so that's always a good thing to do as well. I think an Easter egg hunt around the house, I loved having one of those when I was a kid. So I love doing it for my boys. You can get a lot of clues and things off Pinterest as well if you're not sure what to write. Um, so there's loads of options on the internet to help you do your Easter egg hunt. We've got some of these which are very similar to the things that they always do at Christmas. The hot chocolate bombs. So inside you just have marshmallows and chocolate chips. You put it in some hot milk and it'll melt. Or of course you could just eat it as is. It's got a bunny face on the front. I think they're about 89p. Oh, no they're not. They're £1.49, so a little bit more than that. But yeah, they've just got um, chocolate and things inside them. But that's nice because that's a little bit different. You can have a nice hot chocolate. So we've got one of those in there. Also one of these bath bombs. I'm not sure how much this is because this isn't on this receipt. But you can get a nice egg bath bomb. Oh, I think there's a toy inside it as well there's three different ones to collect so it's got a squishy toy inside so that is very exciting and kids just love things like that don't they so i'm sure that it's all easter themed and um, whatever is inside there some of the cookie mix with the little i mean it looks a bit like a fish but a little bunny cut out which is a good fun activity for them to do it's probably like a basic shortbread type of biscuit like a really simple one it comes with the cookie mixture some icing sugar, some sugar sprinkles and the cutter. I think that was around a pound, so 
Again, great one as well that fills out the hamper nicely and it's an alternative to having the usual chocolate eggs which kids a lot of the time get a lot of at Christmas, at Christmas, at Easter, don't they? So yeah, I think that's a nice one and you can obviously do that with them over the Easter holidays. Also got some bubbles because all kids love bubbles, don't they? Archie still very much loves bubbles. These were £1.49, got a big bunny head on the top. I mean, it just goes nicely with the theme, doesn't it? Again. Anything that's an alternative sometimes to all the sweets and the chocolate is always good as well. So he'll love that. When it's getting warmer outside as well, he can go and do that out in the garden because it's fun doing it in the house too. But sometimes the bubble solution just gets on everything, doesn't it? So yeah, bubble wand for £1.49. Also, there is a glitter mosaic picture here. So this is a little craft that can be done with all these little foam squares so they can stick them onto the picture this is really good for little ones it's age three plus and you just make the picture with all the little foam pieces good for any crafty kids like i say they did have quite a few good craft things in there like lots of paint your own eggs and paint your own decorations but yeah this is a good one because it's not quite as messy as paint so that should keep them good for a good 10 minutes or so shouldn't it also they do a couple of easter activity books so we've got a busy bunny sticker activity and then an easter fun one these are only 79p each as well so you obviously get all your all your stickers in there and loads of different things that you can make and do so how good are those for 79p that would probably keep them happy for quite a while nice and inexpensive if you're buying for any little ones then just buying one of these and a little bag of eggs like they do these ones for really inexpensive you're only spending about £1.50 on a bag of eggs and a, an activity book and I think that is a great little Easter present over 300 stickers in each of these so yeah that should keep them happy for quite a while so yeah we've got some of the little bags of eggs these are good for easter egg hunts as well hiding them around the garden they're really nice as well i really like those so uh, i like these chocolate eggs i also got some of these which as my friend pointed out are very nice put in cookies so you can add them to the cookie mix actually or just make chocolate chip cookies with loads of these on the top of them these aren't very expensive either and you get loads of them 99p so yeah good for putting in your chocolate chip cookies they're just like mini eggs but even more mini also got some squashies because i always have to find alternatives to chocolate for toby because he hates chocolate he thinks it's just gross bizarre bizarre but he yeah he's never liked it no convincing him ever that it doesn't taste horrible so he likes to have alternatives to chocolate at easter which you know luckily they do do a lot of selection of sweets and things that he does like so things like this and even like um cheese puffs put in to plastic cones and make them look like big carrots that works quite well i'm just trying to find alternatives always for him to have something that's not chocolate which is quite nice to do anyway isn't it because they get they get so many eggs these were 89p they had a few different easter related ones but i just got these which are pineapple and orange foam gums they're just in like little chick shapes i've also taken a few out of these out of the box this is the box that they come in it is these that go on top of your hot chocolate so when you use one of your bombs your hot chocolate bombs then just pop one of them on top it's just a little bunny face it's marshmallow and it'll just melt into the hot chocolate go really yummy so it'll just be like that so it's little they did them at christmas as well like um snowman faces they've done a lot of that like i find it really funny that in home bargains there's even a um easter eve box <laughs> like since when would when was that a thing when did we have easter eve um but you can get an easter eve box now just like you can get christmas eve boxes so they've just kind of copied a lot of the christmas stuff into easter items which i mean i'm here for i love it all so yeah you can get a box of six of these just for popping on top of your hot chocolate inside the crate i just put a load of this which again is from home bargains everything is this was one pound one pound 29 so they have this type of craft grass or they have colored 
ones that you could get instead like brightly colored ones i just wanted the plain one to go into this crate but that's good for just padding it out if it doesn't pad it out enough i'll normally put like balls of paper or something in the bottom just because i think everything in a hamper always looks better if it's raised a little bit higher because you don't want it sinking to the bottom you want to be able to see everything and for everything to be on display so i will pad out the bottom a lot of the time with like i say balls of paper just to fill the bottom a bit and then place something like this on top which looks nice and then everything should be on display and not sunk into the bottom of the crate so that's what i do anyway and then other than that because that's everything that's in the easter hamper idea that i had also got some easter paper plates somebody told me that they do a one of the grass runners that i want in poundland because i would love and i might not even get around to it but i would i like the idea of having one of the grass table runners and doing some like garden themed food and just make it really fun for them so maybe i'll get around to doing that but i just got some plates so at least their meals are going to be easter themed in some way so you get 10 paper plates in there and also there is matching napkins they had the cups and everything all in the same design i think they might have had tablecloths as well so it's all really cute it's just got little chicks on it and little rabbits and it's just really fun so you get 20 paper napkins and 10 paper plates it's just nice isn't it for the kids just to make it a little bit more fun at meal times these are really good for easter egg hunts as well if you're not doing chocolate you can just hide a load of these bags of haribo and they're all easter themed although i mean they're just basically the packaging is just sort of easter themed but you get 10 bags in there and it does say on them perfect for hunting because obviously they're all wrapped up we've used these loads of times in different easter egg hunts because the boys do love their sweets so yeah you get 10 packs in there that is all my easter stuff i just want to show you one more thing that's not easter related but i just wanted to show that they are back in stock and it is one of these mirrors i have two of these in the hallway i used to have three and then I didn't hang one of them properly and it fell down and broke. And I just wanted to say that they are back in stock. They do these in black as well. Really light. I have three in a row hanging up. So I'm very pleased to have got another one because um, I can now have three again in the hallway instead of having just two because of the broken one. So I just wanted to show that because that was the other item that I bought in today's home bargains trip. So yeah, I'm looking forward to putting that back up and I will try and hang it a little bit more securely this time. I think I put it up with the um, man strips which just did not do the job. So yeah, they've got them back in. I've got some really nice garden mirrors as well. These would work nice outside. So that's everything in today's Home Bargains haul and all my little Easter bits. I hope that you enjoyed it. I would love for you to give it a big thumbs up and it'd be really lovely to see you again for my next video. Take care everyone. Bye.